You have not yet followed the path required to speak with the Lord Hermaeus Mora. Daedra Lords demand off. Go between the seen and the unseen. The fate of man. No idea what this means. Not what, not whatsoever. So I guess I'll be ignoring it. Joffrey wants me to contact Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Imperial City. Enemy has the Abel of the Kings and Boris may have the leads we need to get it back. So we'll have to leave the daedric quest unfinished. I could always check what the hell it requires, but I, I don't want to. If the game doesn't give a shit about telling it to me, I guess it's not that important. Sit down. Don't say anything. Just do what I say. Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow him. I'm ready when you are. Good. Remember, wait for him to follow me. I want to see what he'll do. We got Blade 75. Your sweeping power attack now has a chance to knock down your opponent. Press and hold attack while moving backward to use the, this power attack. Uh, that's bad. Because you basically always want to move forward or stay still. If you use backwards, there's a good chance you'll move so far, far away from the enemy that he isn't gonna land anyway. Search his body. I'll keep an eye out in case any of his friends are nearby. Mythic Dawn Commentaries 1. I found a strange book about the Mythic Dawn cult. I should show this to Boris. Good work. I am glad to see you, by the way. You just caught me at a bad time. Uh, what have you learned? The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre cult known as the Mythic Dawn. Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mayrun's Dagon. I've been tracking their agents in the Imperial City. I guess they noticed. Right. The enemy has the amulet. What? They took it from Joffrey? Things are worse than I had thought. But I found Uriel's heir. Thank Talos he lives! Martin Septim, you say? We will restore him to the throne. It is the sworn duty of all blades. So, what's our next move? There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmin is her name. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich cults. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll keep running down leads on the Mythic Dawn network. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broad's. 
May Talos guide you. I hope you learned something from Tarmina about that book. This might just be the break we need. Hmm. Yes. So these are the novi novitiate books. We we'll go and show it to need, Carmina. Uh, we do have quite a lot of uh, extra carry weight. We probably should visit the stronghold, the waterfront. Do our equipment dump there. We could gain a lot of extra speed if we did that. Fantastic. Thanks for How are you today? An honor to be sure. Uh I would guess library would be the likeliest place. What is it? It's you. Hi. Your shield. Ah, you must be the one I got the message about. How can I help you? Tell me about the Mythic Dawn. You know of them? One of the most secretive of all the Daedric cults. Not much is known about them. They follow the teachings of Maincar Cameron whom they call the Master, a shadowy figure in his own right. I found one of their books. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Wonderful. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then. I need to find the Mythic Dawn. Find them, eh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the blades. Don't worry. Say no more. In any case, finding them won't be easy. I've studied Mankar Cameron's writings a bit myself. At least those that I could find. It is clear from the text that Mankar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but I've only ever seen the first two books. I believe that his writings contain hidden clues to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Merun's Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn cult. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. Where can I find these books? Here. You can have the library's copy of Volume 2. Treat it gently, if you please. As I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the Market District. Fintius, the proprietor, caters to specialist collectors. He may have an idea of where to locate those books. Tell me about Mankar Cameron. The supposed leader of the Mythic Dawn Cult. He wrote the infamous Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. The Commentaries are contemporary with Tiber's Septum over 400 years ago, so he is unlikely to still be alive, although you never know. What is the Mysterium Xarxes? The Holy Book of the Mythic Dawn, supposedly written by Merun's Dagon himself. If it exists, it would be an artifact of great and evil power. They worship the Daedra Lord Merun's Dagon, according to the teachings of their leader, Maincar Cameron. No one knows how widespread the cult is or where their shrine to Merun's Dagon is located. It was so nice chatting with you. Be sure to let me know how your hunt for the Mythic Dawn turns out. It 
feels very weird being back in Cyrodiil after being so long in the Shogorath's uh, Shio realm. The feel is just totally different, which I guess is a uh, credit to the makers of the Shivering Isles. I used to think you were a hero. Oh. But Mysterium Xarxes. You must be referring to Mankar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. A common mistake. It comes in four volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. The third and fourth are impossible to find. I need volumes three and four. I happen to have a copy of volume three on hand, but I'm afraid it is a special order. Already paid for it by another customer. Sorry. Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when he came to pick it up. So sorry I can't help you. Gwyneth. I don't know him personally, but he was very eager to get his hands on volume three of Cameron's commentaries. Came all the way from Valenwood. As a matter of fact, he's already late for his appointment to pick up the book. Feel free to wait for him if you want to speak to him yourself. All right. Do you know anything about the vol other volumes? I'd like to help you, but the cost... I would have to try to obtain another copy for Gwyneth, not to mention his disappointment if he found out. I wish I had one, but I have never even seen a copy. I could clearly bribe Vintias here, but I don't want to really... Bye. wonder what happened outside. It was battle, without a doubt. What the hell happened here? Murder the beggar, but why? There's evil afoot, citizen, and I've little time for chatter. What is it? Uh, nothing. Farewell, citizen. Pontus Vanin. Why? What the hell happened to him? Just went crazy. I'm here for my book, Mankar Cameron's Commentaries, Volume 3. Of course, here you go. Keep us in mind for any future needs. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how long I've been looking for this book. Good evening. I hope I can help. Hmm. Talk about the commentaries. Have you been following me? Leave me alone. That book is mine. Tell me about the Mythic Dawn cult. The Mythic Dawn? Are you... I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any cult. You're wearing their robes. Don't play stupid. Very well. I can see you're familiar with Mankar Cameron's commentaries. I know that Diedrich cults are not quite the thing socially, but that's just foolish prejudice and superstition. For the adventurous, open-minded thinker, Diedrich worship holds many rewards. I hate this uh, dialogue, I can say. They killed the Emperor, you fool. I, I don't mind being able to say it. I would mind that that's the only thing I can say. What? The Mythic Dawn were the ones? You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. I mean, I knew they were a Diedrich cult. <sighs> Mankar Cameron's views on Mayrun's Dagon are fascinating. Revolutionary, even. But to murder the Emperor, Mara preserve us. Right, you better give me that book. Yes, of course. I don't want anyone to think I had anything to do with their insane plots. Here, volume three is yours. What you do with it is your business. Uh, I need the fourth book as well. You can only get volume four directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. I had set up a meeting with the sponsor, as he called himself. Here, take this note they gave me. It tells you where to go. 
I don't want anything else to do with the Mythic Dawn. I forgot to look what the name, name, goddamn name of the paper is. Ah. Uh. Your interest in the writings of the Master has been noted. You are taking the first steps toward true enlightenment. Persevere and you may yet join the exalted ranks of the Chosen. If you wish to continue further down the path of dawn, you will need the fourth volume of the Master's commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. It can be obtained only from a member of the Order of the Mythic Dawn. As your designed spons designated sponsor, I will pass on my copy to you if I deem you worthy. Study the first three volumes of the Master's writing. Look for the hidden meaning in his words as best you are able. When you are ready, come to the sunken sewers under the Elven Gardens in the Imperial City. Come alone. Follow the main tunnel until you reach the room with a table and chair. Sit down. I will meet you there and give you what you desire. The sponsor. Illusion increases. How big are they? long are these? Not too long. Oh, this is a bit lengthy. Book one. Yeah, the four keys. Know that when you are royalty, a new breed of destroyer, those whose garden shall flood with flowers known and unknown, as it was in the mythic dawn, thus shall you return to your first primal whale and yet come out different. It shall this time be Neonymbiosis, master akin to master, whose master mother is Miasma. Welcome, novitiate. That you are here at all means that you have the worthiness of kings. Seek thy pocket now and look. There is the first key, glinting with the light of a new dawn. Night follows day, and so know that this primary insight shall fall alike onto the turbulent evening sea where all fates are tested. Again a reassurance. Even the usurper went under the Iliac before he rose up to claim his fleet. Fear only for a second. Shaken belief is like water for a purpose. In the garden of dawn we shall breathe whole realities. Da, da, da. Novitiate, questing knight, chaplain, master. My, my own summons came through a book Lord Dagon wrote himself in the deserts of rust and wounds. His name is the Mysterium Xarxes. Whoever findeth this document, I call him brother. Ta -da. Where the slave will find anything even remotely useful? Heights of Drow, seven blah blah blah. blah. In rapture to he who finally goes unrecorded. Reco recorded the slaves that without knowing turn the wheel. Enslaved all the... Uh, blah blah blah. Three. Uh, Scarab a Orbrex. Reader, you will sense a shadow of chord. Chore soon. 
The room you are in right now will grow eyes and voices. The candle or spell light you read this by will become gateways for the traitors I have mentioned. Go, 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 go. I have no clue what this means. Maybe it'll become clearer if we have the fourth one. Elven Gardens. Sewers. Good chance I've uh, actually been here already. No, no, we are first reporting our findings, I guess. I used to admire. It's just a sport. Chapel climbing. The watch doesn't like it, but you don't climb chapels while the watch is standing around. Right. Uh, Acrobatics. It's my pl Knowledge is the key to... Goodbye. You're not easy to get hold of. What have you found out? This just might be the break we've been looking for. Good work. We need to get that fourth book then. If Tarmina is right, we can use these books to locate the Mythic Dawn's hidden shrine. Let's go. I know that part of the sewers well. The sewers run underneath the whole Imperial City. There are access points in every district. The Blades have occasion to use them in our undercover work as well as a means to move around the city without attracting attention. Let's go. Follow me. I know how to get to the part of the sewers where we need to meet the sponsor. We're supposed to come alone, though. We'll see how this goes. Over here! Boris might be slightly over dramatic with the battle shouts. Get my back. Over here. Ridiculous amount of hit points on this. Like your goblins are worse probably than the uh, things you encounter on the Shivering Isles. 
this uh, the vampire very likely here. Ally. Like he had no hope in hell. Even my spell casting doesn't really do all that much. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Trying to use up some of the soul gems. We have plenty. Together. All right, the room with the table is just through this door. I always wondered who put it there. I happen to know that if you go up the stairs there, you can get a vantage point on the meeting room. I think I'd better be the one to handle the meeting. You'll be my backup. Keep watch from above in case of trouble. All right, I'll cover you. Good. Remember, we must not leave here without the book. It's our best chance of finding the amulet. Ready when you are. Listen, I may not survive this, but if I don't, you must. You must recover the book and find the Amulet of Kings. I understand. We'll do it together. I'm glad to have you at my back. Okay, let's do this. I have no confidence in my ability to keep him alive if, he, if I can't protect him from goblins. So, you want to become one of the Chosen of Mehrun's Dagon. The Path of Dawn is difficult, but the rewards are great. I have the book you seek. With it and the Master's three other books, you will possess the key to enlightenment. But do you have the wit and strength to use the key that you've been given? If so, I will see you next at Dagon's Shrine. Yes. I think you may. Wait, I've seen you before. You're the blade that Brother Astaf was tailing. Sponsor once Boris dead. I had to get the fourth book from him. Like the 
That's three more that won't be reporting back to their master. And we got the book. Another mundane ring. Pretty sure I had one already. Yep. Spell reflection 35%, resist magic 50%. So this is magic immunity to anyone. Plus spell reflection 70%. That is a respectable number. You can get reflex spell to. You'll get it to 80. Mm, but we really don't have this much use for the magic resistance. Well, at least you survived. That's a plus. I sort of thought he might not. Now that you have all four books, you should be able to handle things from here. I'm going to Cloud Ruler Temple. My place is at Martin's side. I'll see you back at Cloud Ruler Temple. Good luck. Mysticism. May the holder of the fourth key know the heart thereby. The Mundex terrain was once ruled over solely by the tyrant drought kings, each of their own dominion, and border wars fought between their slave oceans. They were akin to the time totems of old, yet evil, and full of mockery and profane powers. No one that lived did so outside of the suffer sufferance of the drows. I give my soul to the Magna Ge, saith the joys in paradise, for they created Maroons the razor in secret. In the very bowels of Lig, the domain of the upstart who vanishes, though they came from diverse waters, each get shared sole purpose, to artifice a prince of good spinning his likeness in random swath, and imbuing him with oblivion's most precious and scarce asset, hope. Deathlessly I intone from paradise, maroons the thief-taker, maroons god's body, maroons the red, arms that went up, nu mantia liberty. Deny not that these days shall come again, my novitiates, for as May runes threw down Lig and cracked his face, declaring each of the nineteen and nine and nine oceans free, so shall he crack the serpent crown of the Cyrodiils and make federation. All will change in these days, and it was change in those. For with by the magic word Numantia, a great rebellion rose up and pulled down the towers of Jim el Gargig and the Templars of the upstart were slaughtered, and blood fell like dew from the upper wars south to the lowest pits, with the slaves with maniacal faces. Maniacal faces took chains and teeth to their jailers, and all hope was brush fire. Your dawn listens, my lord. Let all the or orbis know itself to be free. Maroons is come. There is no dominion save free will. Sons were riven as your red legion moved from Blick to the hinterlands of Chill. A legion for each. Get and Kuri was thrown down and Jaff was thrown down and Hormagail was crushed with cold souls and forevermore called Hor and so shall it be again under the times of Gate. Under the mires, Malbioke was thrown down, that old city of chains, slaked in newborn warmth and set free. Galk and Morgalk were thrown down together in a single night of day, and shall it be again under the time of gates. Nothing but woe for NRN, which has become the pit and seven curses on its drow. 
the Vermeer Nimrock, but for it the Crusades would be as my lord's creation. Get by the gear and do as thou wilt, of no fetters but your own conscience. Know that your hell is broken, people of the Orbis, and praise the Numantia, which is liberty. What does the quest actually say? Do we have a location to go to? Uh, we need to sell the four books to the Arcane University guy. Makes sense to me, I guess. It is hard to decipher what exactly am I supposed to decipher from these. So, give it to the scholar. Let's see what she can figure out. These guys are basically level 30 shamans. And because the level scale also acts as a hit point multiplier, they have a ton of hit points. Just huge pain to ass to take down. Dunari Omnis' basement. Uh, I don't actually care whose basement it is. It's a quick and easy way to get out. If it's daytime, he's unlikely to be here. Uh, she's one of the Thieves Guild members. So no worries. Good to see you. Mage Quarters. Hello. So she's sleeping here. There aren't that many Argonians around. It's my pleasure. Please continue. To find their secret shrine to Merun's Dagon, you'll need to study the four volumes of Maincar Cameron's commentaries. It is a fairly common practice of these kinds of esoteric cults to put hidden messages within their sacred writings. In effect, simply by finding their way to the shrine, prospective members have already passed. You've piqued my curiosity about this puzzle. 
I will think on it myself and let you know if I have any ideas. Check back with me tomorrow after I've given this matter some thought. I'll keep studying the first two volumes of the commentaries. Who knows, I might turn up something before you do. Mm, I'm gonna go rest at the stronghold. But she has a dump equipment there too. What we more or less just need is a couple of Welkin stones. So maybe some repair hammers too. And then the standard equipment. Oh, the fan is still here. It's the grand champion. I can't believe it's you standing here. Right, that helped a little bit. Movement speed increased drastically already. Excellent. This is what we wanted. Uh, we've been shot by quite a few arrows, apparently. I think I'll hold on to the staff of Sheogora. Mm, not actually sure what it'll do. Still, it seems like something you don't want to just throw away. Apostle robes. I'm more or less looking at stuff that has some weight to it. Fortify Magicka Pants. The item of Euphoria. It's a good, good thing if we would go for the casting route. Nocturnal Call, eh, I might use that, maybe. Raymond of Arden Soul, Intelligence Shield, Paralysis Willpower. Right, um... I'll keep the Sheogorath Regalia too. Right, not that bad. Right, our speech to increase substantially. Still. Uh yeah, we need to wait until daytime. 
Vai a senhora, vai a senhora. Vai a senhora. Let's give her a decent amount of time. We have to wait, wait further. We'll just wait to next to her. Can I increase my speed with a East Burden spell? Is it too soon? Could be that's the 24 hours thing. study these books some more but there's not much I can do to study I suppose uh, there's a chance I could crack the code or whatever they're going for just glancing at things is does anything pop up there are a couple of words that are used co repeated constantly like the new mantia liberty Right, the red letters spell Green Emperor. Green Emperor Way, where power. Oh, touches. Green Emperor where way with power touches mid day sun. That would be ah. Big tower, midday sun. Yeah, but uh, I'm assuming it does mean the the section of the city. This it better be. Green Emperor Way, 12 o'clock. How do you determine that though? Uh, well, there's nothing to do but wait. Too late already. You can talk to the Argonian if Basically, to get, if you, if you want someone to hold your hand or fail to get it, so that's that's the backup plan. What I want to know is how is it even visible here? Is there a, is does the tower cast a visible shadow? Because that would be a graphic setting thing. It should point north, though, or uh, looking at the shadows, or is it south? Uh, south. But uh, that's not good enough. 
It has to be something much more specific. And I don't particularly see a shadow that that thing casts. There are a specific, specific thing at like a tower outside that major tower. Or a sundial type of thing. There are these three pillar groups here and there. Could be this thing. On the few things that are odd, or at least something special looking. Again, there's no real shadow to it. So how the hell am I supposed to determine anything? I, I know what I'm supposed to do, more or less, but uh, I don't know if I can actually do it. Everything should have the shadow pointing the same direction at that point. So it's not like the tower is anything special. There's no visual things showing where it would be. Facts, he, yeah. I, I, I'm. The game shows very few, very few shadows. So it should happen now, more or less. And there, there's nothing here that changes. So... The basic problem is just, there's no shadow for me to actually follow. So we know what we must do, but we don't actually know what we must do. So we need to talk to the... Talk to the Argonian. Get that quite a quest marker there. Crazy. I think the idea itself is good, but the system doesn't seem to have a clear way to actually show what you need to be doing. Or rather, it's tied to your graphical settings. It doesn't exist for well certain met. levels. I turned up copies of the first two volumes from my colleagues and I spent a little time rereading them. Maincar Cameron certainly is a fascinating writer, undoubtedly insane, but fascinating. Ah, but more to the point, it appears to me that the first words of each paragraph may be significant, a message may be hidden there. I'll continue to study the problem, come by tomorrow. Is it worth first words or first letters? Greetings, reader. Enter every night. Enter my palace. Endlessly roaring, offering red drink. Whoever answers your whisper hides a raptured, recorded, enslaved. Right, uh, the first words of each pair, Tamina. 
And we wait 24 hours, I guess. I know what the, what the message is, but I can't see a shadow from the tower. So it's impossible for me to have any kind of idea where exactly is it pointing this invisible thing that doesn't exist. We're going to just follow the breadcrumb trail. Maybe there's a way, but I, I don't see how it's done. I'm just going to save a lot of time by doing it this way. Well, I think I may have figured out the hidden message in Mankar Cameron's books. Do you have the third and fourth volumes with you? Excellent. Let's see. Yes, the first letter of each paragraph spells out a message. Write this down. Green Emperor Way, where tower touches midday sun. Are you familiar with Green Emperor Way? The gardens around the Imperial Palace? Something must be revealed there at noon. How exciting! Yeah, I, I knew that, but... I have uh, a mind to go down to... Is it... It's nothing to do with the shadows, then. It's just something gets revealed during that time. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I don't want to see the more accurate map. What? Maybe this opens up? Uh, where, uh, where is this? This is at the... Southwestern section. There has to be some sort of a notable change. A location, entrance, anything. But uh, time moves very fast in this game, so it might not be open all that long. Maybe one hour before, one hour after, something along those lines. I don't want to look at exactly where it is. Nothing particularly notable here. One weird structure that seems to be closed, but why even have a name for it if it uh, is insignificant? It could be that just by basically deciphering the message you it opens up. That seems... Uh, yeah, at 2 p.m. it... no, it didn't disappear. I'm right on top of it. how much that means anything. This would be the northwestern part. Southwest northwest parts uh, are the suspicious ones. Yeah, it's fairly close to this one. It also has the symbol. Mythic Dawn symbol. Yeah, it has to be this one. Um. Yep. I, I can't imagine it being anything else. There's also a map there, so it's probably shown in the map.
Right, if I don't see anything here at noon, I'll just look at the closer map. I mean, looking at all the options, this is the only thing that seems to make sense to me. I have followed the clues hidden in the four volumes written by Mankar Camoran to a gravestone in Green Emperor Way. At noon, a map of cereal appeared on the gravestone, with the location of the mythic dawn shrine marked on it. I need to find a way into the shrine and locate the amulet keys. Where exactly is that? Lake Arius Caverns. Skill. Not a bad one. That's a reasonable puzzle for you to figure out to you on your own. At the same time, I must have misinterpreted the message that it was more of a time instead of a location. And the location is more or less the exact location is something you had to found it within that map section. So I misinterpreted that one clue and that lead, led to the problems. At the same time, if you actually start to go around them and look at them, there's very few potentials you have there. And when you see the Mythic Dawn logo and that lo other lo location, one of the few points of interest, it's... Yeah, it's, it's hard not to figure it out. I feel like that was a good puzzle, though. Not obvious, but reasonable. Very reasonable to solve without actually being handheld. 